So for the purpose of efficiency, I've sped this up multiple times. Hey guys, a lot of people have been asking me quite recently, is it the right time to upgrade to Windows 10 yet? And I would honestly say that yes, it is. Windows 10 has been around for a good year now, and it's a fantastic operating system. So I'm going to show you how to do the in-place upgrade from your Windows 7 or Windows 8.1 machine and roll up to Windows 10 without anything being affected. You know, obviously, you need to bear in mind that some legacy applications perhaps will not run on Windows 10. That is only because Windows 10 is far ahead of Windows 8 or Windows 7. As long as you're activated, which I am here, so you'll see if you go to Start and right-click on Computer and go to Properties, you'll see here the version of Windows You'll see that it's on Service Pack 1, and at the bottom, you'll see that Windows is activated. As long as you're activated, you are eligible for the free upgrade. So what we do is we go to the internet, and we go for Windows 10 Upgrade. There we go. As you'll see in the list here, I've already clicked on one before. I'm signing with my Google account. And here we go. You'll see the Windows 10 is here, and you can get it free. It's absolutely free, it doesn't cost you a single penny. You scroll down, you click the upgrade button, it downloads a little web installer down the bottom here. You run that, and then it's a waiting game. We just now wait until the ISO has been downloaded for Windows 10. It's currently coming down at 4.7 megabytes per second. That's on a fiber optic connection here. I would especially recommend Windows 10 if you are on an SSD because Windows 10 is optimised fully for solid state disks and it does perform very very well. Nonetheless it does run perfectly okay on standard hard drives, um, I do actually support it in a lot of businesses and Windows 10 does perform very well, it's functional, it's stable and it doesn't tend to have many issues at all. So the upgrade is fully managed by the, the Microsoft tool itself and you have nothing to do apart from tell it what to keep and what not to keep. And so once it's downloaded, it then verifies the installation. Okay, so this is where you accept the license agreement to do the Windows 10 upgrade. And it'll ask us what we'd like to keep as well. Keeping a computer up to date, to me, is very important for security and for stability, especially in business. So at this stage you can tell it to keep the personal files that you have on this machine and software or you can click the change what to keep button here and basically do a wipe and load. It does a complete wipe and gives you a fresh computer with nothing carried across. Personally for now I'm just going to do the upgrade. I mean The system reboots several times during this installation and upgrade. So first of all it copies the files, secondly it installs the features and drivers, and thirdly it configures your settings. So for the purpose of efficiency I've sped this up multiple times, but so far we're about 20 minutes in. Configuring settings now. Just change camera angles for you guys so that the glare doesn't get on your nerves too much. Or reflection. Okay then. Okay, because it's a direct upgrade, just enter your password. Use express settings if that's what you wish. Defaults. Like I said, it will restart itself. Hello! Giganet. Okay, and after the reboot, we should be ready to go. Hello! We've updated your PC. Can I please use it then? It better be. Okay, and there we have it. First look at the Windows 10 desktop from an upgraded machine. 
Now ignore that, that's to do with one of my programs that I have running called FreeMeter. It's the network tool that runs on the bottom right hand side. It needs .NET for that to run. The first thing I tend to do with Windows 10 is to literally leave it. Just leave it alone for 5-10 to 10 minutes, let it index, let it do what it needs to do. It will do everything you need. I mean, as it stands, there's no graphics driver installed because obviously it thinks it's a new machine. Just wait for it, and within about five minutes, it'll download the driver it requires from AMD and install that for you. Same for the audio, same for chipset, etc., etc. Network, LAN. So once we're up and running, I tend to go to the settings, update and security, let it check for updates, do any of the updates it requires straight away. You'll see under the left hand side here, under activation, that Windows 10 Professional is activated because you've done a digital entitlement upgrade from Windows 7, which is brilliant. Oh, there you go. The graphics driver is installing itself as we speak. Simple as that. Like I said, Windows 10 is something to be excited about. It's a good operating system. It does work well. As you can see, within literally two minutes, the updates are nearly complete. Just going to reinstall my or relaunch my network tool so I can see what the internet is doing or what the machine's doing network wise. There we go. Run at startup, everything that's been set before is actually set still, which is brilliant. So at the minute, it's actually using the hard drive, the SSD is being used to do the drivers and updates. I love the way Windows 10 updates. As it does them, it kind of clears them from the queue. So if you watch there, this is purely dependent on the processor, memory, and hard drive right now. There's no network activity at all, so we're just waiting for the machine to do its thing. If we go to Task Manager, Performance, you'll see that it's actually using the processor, memory, and disk the most. If we drop down here and click restart, after that we are literally ready from Windows 7 to Windows 10 Professional. Plenty of hard drive activity on a solid state drive there. Walking on the upper piazza. Oh, how fast was that? All right, guys, so let me log back into my account. And, um, I mean, the first thing I want to say is just how quick Windows 10 really is. I mean, I'd say it's quicker than Windows 7 and 8 combined. I mean, you can literally boot into Windows 10 within just a few seconds. So the machine's just being restarted now. Let's see how long it actually takes, shall we? Okay, there's a stopwatch on my phone. As soon as it clears the BIOS, I'll start it off. Okay, 13, 14 seconds. Not too bad. I mean, within four or five seconds, it's locked in without any issues at all, ready to go. That's about it then, guys. So that's a roll-up to Windows 10 from Windows 7 Professional. No issues whatsoever. Smooth roll-up. Great operating system. Highly recommended to business. And as always, thanks for watching. I'm Jake Billing. And I'll catch you next time. If only AMD Catalyst Control Center would stop bugging me to tell me there is an update. I'll do that shortly. Anyway, thanks a lot, guys. Take care for now. I'll see you next time. See you later. Bye.